This is Victoria Xi, Ukraine's new AI-generated virtual spokesperson. I can handle a variety of routine tasks. As a result, real-world diplomats have more time to address more difficult issues. I sent questions for Xi to the Ukrainian Foreign Ministry, where officials wrote her responses. First up, why does Ukraine's Foreign Ministry have an AI spokesperson? Diplomacy is a rather conservative field that is often slow to adopt cutting-edge innovations. Ukraine, however, has wartime diplomacy. If we want to win the war, we need to be one step ahead technologically. And we are, as you can see. What can you do that people can't? I can certainly function without sleep, which is quite useful during wartime. I am also fluent in over 30 of the most popular languages. Few speakers can do that, and I keep learning new languages. Last but not least, I always look great in the morning because I do not go out late at night. Xi's looks and gestures are based on Rosalie Nombre, a Ukrainian singer who comes from Donetsk, currently under Russian occupation. On Instagram, she said it was time to stop what she called the chauvinist past of ignoring other ethnic groups that live in Ukraine. Xi's focus is consular affairs, a controversial area right now, after Ukraine suspended consular services for military-aged men abroad. The suspension of new applications for consular services to military-aged men abroad is a technical and temporary measure. Internal procedures must be adjusted to comply with the new mobilization law recently passed by the Ukrainian parliament. Once adjusted, we will continue to accept applications in accordance with the new law. That new law reduces the mobilization age and is aimed at boosting recruitment for Ukraine's armed forces, which have been depleted by two years of war. One last question for Xi. Critics have suggested it'll be easy for people to make fake videos featuring you. What's your response? My creators address the issue of potential fakes. A QR code can be found in the corner of this video. It leads to the exact same statement on the ministry's official website. 